going to get back to the underwater volcanic explosion that triggered a tsunami advisory alarming many people here. This is the volcanic eruption as seen from space. Just incredible. After the explosion, small tsunami waves hit Tonga's capital and the capital of American Samoa. Yes, yeah, some flooding was reported in that area. Now joining, now, joining us now is California State Long Beach Assistant Professor Dr. Andre Babas of the Geological Sciences Department. And Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Dr. Babas, we recently learned that you did return after studying ancient underwater volcanoes near Hawaii. How common is it to have an underwater volcanic explosion? So an underwater volcanic explosion is, is um, not as common as um, a, a less um, explosive event. So right now we have a new uh, volcanic island forming um, off of Hawaii, uh, the volcano Luihi. Um, but it is not associated with the subduction zone. It is what we call a hot spot or a mantle plume derived volcano, meaning that its magma is sourced from deep in the mantle and it ascends and breaks through the crust. What we had today was a volcanic eruption that was the result of oceanic crust subducting under other oceanic crust. And when that happens, it brings with it water and water is volatile. And so that's what creates these explosive volcanoes. So um, there are some other hypotheses that um, state that you could have fractures in the area. And so since it's underwater, you can get a, a rapid injection of water causing for great volatility. And that might have happened today where we had an explosion so large that um, it was um, spewing debris into the atmosphere at a rate uh, faster than the speed of sound. And that's what created that large blast that could be um, heard hundreds of kilometers away. Wow. Those images, just fascinating to watch. You know, when it comes to earthquakes, you can't really predict an earthquake or when it's going to happen. As for a volcanic eruption, is there any warning or are there, you know, people that are working on potential warning triggers for people in the future? Yeah, there are always um, scientists, geologists looking for this type of um, information. So the Cascadia Volcanic Observatory actually is hooked up to satellites that are, go around the world. And so for subaerial volcanoes, volcanoes that are mountaintop, or what we know as um, Mount St. Helens, when you see a bulge on the side of that volcano, it's indicating that there is a um, imminent eruption. Also, we look for tectonic events. So we can't see below the water surface. We can't find um, those bulges the same way that um, the Cascadia Volcanic Observatory can, but we can kind of listen for um, tectonic events that might indicate there's um, ascending magma. But at this time, um, the ability to actually monitor by a visual monitor um, in the ocean is very difficult because it's very vast. And um, these volcanoes associated with a mid-ocean ridge or plume-derived volcanoes, they are far spread out over the entire uh, Pacific Ocean. Um, and we do have to ask now, how many of these underwater volcanoes are out there that we know of? And are there any that we need to be concerned about, especially here in Southern California? So luckily for us, we don't have um, a lot of subduction um, oceanic crust under oceanic crust volcanoes near us. What we have are the Hawaiian um, seamount chain that is again, it is a hotspot derived um, sea mount chain of underwater volcanoes. The one subduction zone that we do have in the United States is the Cascadia subduction zone, where the Juan de Fuca plate subsides, um, subducts under the Pacific plate. And that creates um, large earthquakes that um, Cascadia events where you see the entire crust move all at once over uh, 600 kilometers. And that's what creates large tsunamis in the Pacific Northwest. And we also have the volcanoes such as the Mount St. Helens that is associated with the Cascadia volcanoes. But um, oceanic crust under oceanic crust is not proximal to us, um, luckily. So we do have our wonderful Cascadia of volcanic observatory who's keeping a good eye on our um, subduction volcanoes up there in the Pacific Northwest. All right. Well, I feel like you just took us all back to college, back to school. <laughs> Great information for sure, for sure. And thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Balbus. Great information. Thank you for having me. Yeah.